up folks, Jacob Rob AJ here. Today I'm here to shoot an album review. This album is entitled Demonstration and it's by Tiny Tempa. This was a album that was released out the UK. It featured 15 tracks. Uh, there were 14 and then there was one bonus track. I'm going to go through all of the tracks and just share my thoughts on this album. Track number one is entitled Someday Place in the Sun. Uh, this featured Ella. I would say a Rihanna type of vibe I was getting from Ella singing and harmonizing. And the track it kind of started out uh, more so poppy when listening to it. Track number two was entitled Trampoline. This featured Two Chains. This was the first track I heard from the album. There was a video for it. Pretty sure it is a single, but I could be wrong. I thought the track was all right. I didn't think it was the uh, best track on the album by any means. Track number three was entitled Don't Sell Out. This was the first track that caught my attention. You will hear female vocals within the uh, track. And I kind of like the way that they say Don't Sell Out really stands out and it's real catchy. I like the intro of this track and I like the way Tiny Spit within the track. I thought the uh, chorus was good within the track and I also like the way that Tiny Spits from the 219 mark to the 244 mark of the track. I just thought he had so much swag in the way that he was spitting over the track. This was one of my top favorites from the album. Track number four is entitled It's Okay. This featured Labyrinth. Tiny Tempa had put this album up for stream on his website. This was the first track that I thought was going to be my hands down favorite from this album. I uh, definitely love this track. It was one of my favorites. And uh, definitely like the production that was done on this track. I love the way that Labyrinth started the uh, track at the intro. And the beat, it kind of starts out serious. It, you know, grabs your attention from the jump. I mean, he comes so hard in this and I definitely like the uh, chorus in the track. One of my uh, favorite tracks on this album. Track number five is entitled Mosh Pit. This featured Dizzy Rascal. It was definitely a track that stood out to me. I love the energy that was put into this track. I like the way that, you know, Dizzy Rascal came and spit on the track. And, you know, with Dizzy's flow, I just kind of loved it and loved the collaboration that Helm and Tiny Tempa had on this album. And, you know, I love the beat. It kind of goes into this, like, garage, jungle type of beat. When you kind of see the uh, drums lead up in this track, it kind of also goes into this uh, dub set mix, which I thought was uh, pretty interesting. I think it should have stayed with the uh, jungle type of mix that was going on instead of uh, switching over to the uh, dub set mix. At the uh, 253 mark, you'll hear Dizzy say, Don't chat to me if you ain't ready to fight. Got hype, and then it goes into the jungle mix again. Track number six is entitled Looking Down the Barrel. You know, when this track first started, I did not like the track. Um, it kind of reminded me of a track that, you know, you would see Eminem do. I didn't think it really fit. Uh, Tiny Temp of Style, though. Track number seven was entitled Children of the Sun. This featured John Martin. It starts out with this uh, piano at the very beginning of this uh, track. I was kind of slower for this track. You would think it would be one of those tracks that would be a single um, if they had to pick one from this album. From the 104 mark to the 110 mark, I like how Tiny is spitting during that part. I don't know what it was, but the beat, it kind of reminded me of uh, Headlines. Uh, by Drake. It had that same type of rhythm, you know, during the part where they would say, they know, they know, they know. Part kind of reminded me of the beat that was going on within the uh, track. Track number eight was entitled Witch Doctor. The production that was done on this uh, track. I thought this would make a great trailer for the album by introducing it uh, to the public. Track number nine is entitled Shape. This featured Big Sean. Definitely when this track first started out, I didn't know about it. I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. This is definitely Tiny Tempest club track right here. You know, if he wants to get some airplay, play this in the clubs. And, I mean, it's a catchy song. Definitely a catchy chorus. Probably one of those tracks that's usually my least favorite. But, you know, this was one of my top favorites from the album. And it was definitely one that stood out. And, you know, it's definitely a song that you'll be singing along to. And, you know, just vibing from. And, 
you know, definitely a club track that I could see a lot of people vibing from. Track number 10 is entitled Lover, Not a Fighter. This track featured Labyrinth. This was the uh, second track that Labyrinth was featured on. You can kind of tell that it's Labyrinth's production that's done. And, you know, he really has a, a trademark uh, when listening to his songs. And at the 23 second mark, when it's talking about Leave a Message, that part, it definitely had Labyrinth written all over it. Track number 11 is entitled A Heart Can Save a World. This featured Emily Sandy. It starts out with uh, Emily starting out the track. I like the uh, production that was done on it, but I felt like I couldn't really get into the track until Tiny Tempa came on. And then from that point, when the drums kicked in at the 48 second mark, I felt like he really went in. Track number 12 is entitled Tears Run Dry. This featured Sway. With the way the uh, track started out, it kind of started out with a uh, slower pace. I didn't think I was going to like the uh, track uh, when, with the way it started out. The 46 second mark, once Tiny came in, this is when I actually got into the track. And that's when it kind of started building on it for me. Track 13 is entitled Lost Ones. And I thought this was a great track that was done. Definitely loved the production on this track. And I thought the uh, track started out real good. Uh, with the uh, featured artists on this track. really liked the uh, drums on this and I thought Tiny spit hard. This was a, another favorite track of mine on this album and I thought it had a, a good symphony feel like towards the end of the track. Track 14 is entitled Heroes. In this track I like how uh, Laura starts off the uh, track at the beginning. Once Tiny came on this track I really couldn't vibe from it. I don't know what it was but Somehow, it seemed like it was just two different songs that were being done in this track. You know, it's kind of like you had one vibe from Lore going on, and then you had another vibe going on from Tiny. Like, he was doing a rap thing, and she was kind of doing the singing thing. And it seems like the two kind of just could not meet in the middle. But um, it seemed like it needed to be split up into two separate tracks. Track number 15 was entitled Five Minutes. This was the bonus track on this album. And I like the production that was done on this uh, bonus track, but I definitely thought it was one that should have been and could have been left off the um, album. I really think the album should have just finished up with Lost Ones, and that was like track number 13, and that should have been the end of the album. Even though there were tracks that I could not get into, I felt like it was still a great album. A lot of great tracks and definitely I got all my bang for my buck. And it was one of my best purchases that I made this year as far as albums. Definitely one of the best albums out the UK this year and glad what Tiny Tempa is doing for the UK and also the UK scene. And uh, he's one of the crossover artists that's going from the UK to the States. You know, Chip, he's doing it as well. And my only complaint is I hate buying albums that don't have lyrics. So Tiny Tempest, step your game up, and next time put in lyrics into this album. Great album, so I'd love to see lyrics instead of uh, going online to read the lyrics. But I ain't complaining, though. If you got this album, uh, definitely share your thoughts on it below. Let me know what is your favorite track from this album. What was your least favorite track? But if you know any other artists out the UK that you want to recommend, feel free to drop them below. Until next time, this has been Jacob Rob AJ, and I'll see ya.